Degevin tenosynovitis. Degevin disease is a painful disease that affects the tendons on the lateral side of the wrist. It is typically caused by inflammation of the thumb tendons, specifically the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis that control the thumb movement. One of the interventions that can be done to treat decurvin tenosynovitis is ice massage. Ice massage is one of the modalities of cryotherapy. So, what is cryotherapy? Cryotherapy is the use of cold modalities for therapeutic purposes and as an injective tool in the rehabilitation of musculoskeletal and neuromuscular dysfunctions. Thus, ice massage is really suitable to be used to treat inflammation as it allows gentle pressure on the area of pain and inflammation and the ice reduces both pain sensation and blood flow while the gentle rotating movement helps mobilize the soft tissues in the same way as a regular massage. The purpose of ice therapy is to reduce inflammation and numb pain signals. The basis for cryotherapy is grounded in the physiological responses that occur when tissue temperature is lowered. The cold decreases blood flow and tissue metabolism, thus decreasing inflammatory effects immediately or soon after injury. Have you ever wondered how can inflammation occur? It is due to changes in vascular flow and caliber, changes in vascular permeability, and immigration of the leukocytes from the microcirculation. Thus, when cold is applied, in this case, when ice massage is being used, it elicits an immediate and direct constriction of surface blood vessels through an axon reflex arc that is a projection of the peripheral autonomic system controlling sympathetic vasoconstriction. Cold is thought to be therapeutically effective because it decreases vascular permeability which draw the cell wall together. The decrease in permeability is beneficial because it reduces the amount of fluid that leaks into the extracellular spaces. There are only two materials needed for this intervention which is ice and fabric cloth. So, how to conduct this intervention? Firstly, test the patient for reaction to cold. Next, put a towel around the area of treatment to absorb water. The most important part is rub the ice on the treatment area from distal to proximal and continuously moving the ice to prevent frostbite. This step can be done continuously until the patient feels numbness and never more than 15 minutes. For ice massage, it can be done several times in a day. However, some precautions need to be considered too. Ice shouldn't be applied directly to the skin as this can cause frostbites. Secondly, stop when patient says that they feel numbness in the area. Lastly, educate the patients regarding the sensation they will feel during the treatment. Unfortunately, there are some conditions that not allowing the patient to do ice massage as their treatment. This includes hypersensitive to cold, neuropathy, open wound, cryoglobulinemia, Reynolds phenomenon, and burns. In 2002, Beckstrom found that a patient with decurvin tenosynovitis was successfully treated through the use of traditional physical therapy interventions including ice massage. Meanwhile, in 2021, Delimar and others found that a single application of both methods of local cryotherapy, which are ice massage and cold air therapy, equally provide immediate and significant pain elevation in patients with active rheumatoid arthritis. Lastly, Zweig and Zura in 2018 reveals that ice massage can be an effective physiotherapeutic method for lowering pain levels in patients with rheumatoid arthritis together with improvement of function.